so after watching this video you're going to have a contact form like this one over here this is a beginner friendly contact form however if we if we refresh this page as you can see you have this nice effect this nice transition so if this doesn't deserve a like and a subscribe i don't know what does so before we start my name is kuzai and i'm gonna be showing you today how to make this contact form i also show people how to make full websites so if you like that you can just subscribe to the channel because i'm gonna be releasing a new tutorial on how to make an e-commerce website okay so let's get started so the first thing i'm gonna do is i'm going to go back to my dashboard then i'm going to install two plugins so the plugins that we need in this video are going to be elemental and conduct form 7 so let me do that so i'm going to click on plugins here so as you can see we have no plugins right now then go to add new so i'm going to look for elemental elemental and there it is then i'm going to click install so don't activate it yet after installing this elemental i'm going to look for another plugin called conduct form 7 conduct form 7 so i misspelled that let me just fix that okay then click install now okay great now we have our two plugins let's go to installed plugins and then just activate these plugins both of them at the same time so let's do this i'm just going to tick over here then go on about actions click activate then apply okay now we have our two plugins installed now the next thing we have to do is we have to create the contact form page this is going to be the page where we are going to be designing everything for our contact form so let's go under pages here then i'm going to click pages just like this then i'm going to add new so i want to add it new on the a new tab just like this new then click page and open a new tab then it's going to load in a new tab this just makes us uh, do things faster so i'm gonna write contact so the thing that i want you to be aware of when you're making this page is to go under page attributes over here and on template i want you to change the template from default template to elemental full width then click publish okay now this is going well so now i'm going to click on edit with elemental so now we have a page like this one over here so whether you have this section over here depends on your theme the thing that i'm using is called as is called ocean wp so ocean wp puts this header over here i can show you how to hide it later if you're using the same theme so now let's change this page into something like this right so what we're gonna do is first of all i'm going to have to add a section that puts the corner form at the center so let me do that so i'm going to add a section three columns three columns like this because i want to put my contact form on the center then i'm going to make this middle section over here 60 percent which means the other this other part is going to be somewhere around 19.9 percent 19.9 percent then 60 percent on the center so i'm going to click on this edit column here then i'm going to change the column width to 60 percent like this so as you can see now this is not like proportional so i want to change this to 20 percent and 20 percent so i'm going to change this to 20 percent on column width 20 like that then i'm going to click over here as well this icon then i'm going to make this 20. okay now we have a much much better layout so now let's add the elements that we need to make this contact form so the elements that we're going to need is we're going to have to add an icon then we're also going to have to add this icon over here. This is the icon heading. This is a divider. And this is the contact form that the user is going to put their information in. So I'm going to add here. I'm going to click the Rubik's Cube on top over here. Then I'm going to search for icon. Then I'm going to add icon list to the center like this. Just add it like that. Then I'm going to delete the other two since I only want to use one of them delete this one delete that one okay so before we start designing let's just make sure that all of our elements are added right so let me go over here and i'm going to search for the divider i'm going to install the divider 
great now we have the divider it's just a single line right now but we're going to edit it later then the last step i need to do is to add the short code right so i'm going to look for the short code element short code short code element and i'm going to drag it and put it i want to put it just below the divider like that okay now we want to make sure that this short code element is showing the contact form so to do that i'm going to have to go back to my dashboard and then add the short code so to add the short code what i'm going to do is i'm going to go under contact over here then click on contact forms so after doing that i'm going to have to copy this this one over here you see under short code over here corner form one short code just click that then copy it then i'm going to go back to my elemental page then enter your short code i'm just going to click that and click paste so as you can see just by doing that the contact form is now showing is that easy right so now i'm just going to click apply okay now as you can see now this looks something similar to what we want to make but obviously it's not the same right we have a lot of work to do so first of all let's start by designing the icon heading so what i'm gonna do now is i want to also view this page as we are making this page i want to be able to view it exactly how much progress we're making right so i'm gonna have to open this page in another tab so i'm gonna go back to my pages in my wordpress dashboard and i'm going to click on view and i'm going to view it in a new tab so right now this is what we have just nothing over here then i'm going to click update on this one over here then i'm going to refresh this page okay so this is what we have for now of course this does not look anything similar to this so now let's do the designing to convert this section to look something like this right so the first thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna have to edit this heading over here so i'm gonna click i'm just gonna hover over the he icon heading then click this pencil icon over here okay so let's go to style first i'm gonna go to style so on alignment i want it on the center so let me put it on the center like this center then i'm going to go down to icon right first of all the icon size i'm going to put it to 50 pixels 50 pixels like that great then i'm going to go to the text then i'm going to also going to put it to 50 pixels now i'm going to go to typography 50 pixels over here then i'm also going to change the font weight to something around 700 700 okay so this looks much much bigger and that's that's better right so now that we've done we've done that now let's change this icon and the text right so that it represents what we want so now i'm going to go from the style tab to the content tab then i'm going to click on these items over here this item i'm going to change this text under text to contact okay then i'm going to go under on the icon and click I'm going to search for so these icons they don't have the contact icon they only have something like the comment icon so i'm just gonna write on c o w m for the comment icon so the one that we want over here is this one this comment icon then i'm gonna click insert okay now we have something similar to what we want so now we have the contact section like this so now let's just click on update so every time you change an element you just want to click update and go and refresh your page like this to see how it looks like now right so to see if the changes that you are making are taking place okay now that looks good now let's go and design this divider over here so i'm going to click on icon over here on this pencil icon so for the divider i'm going to have to change the style over here to slashes slashes like this then i'm gonna have to change the width to something around 60 like that then the alignment to center okay that looks much better then i'm gonna click update now that we are done with that part let's now go and design this 
whole entire section entirely, right? Like this whole entire middle column. So to, to design the whole entire middle column, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click right over here on this tab icon here, right? So the first thing that I want to do is I want to change the, the border over here. So I'm going to go to advanced, sorry, to style. Then I'm going to go to border. Then I'm going to change the border type from none to solid, right? Then I want to change the border width to somewhere around three, four pixels. So I'm going to go to three pixels just like that. Now we see I have a border over here. Then I'm going to change the border radius to something to somewhere around five, five, right? So the, the border radius makes the corners a bit more rounded. It, it makes it look a bit more nice. Then I want to put a box shadow. So on the box shadow, I just want you to click this icon, then leave it as it is, right? Don't change anything else. Just click this pencil icon over here, then leave it, leave it as it is. Okay, then I'm going to click on update. Okay, now as you can see, if we go over here and refresh the page, you will notice that some of this stuff is too close to the border, right? It's way too close to the border. So I want to change that, right? So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go back, then go to advanced. On margin, I want the, there to be some, some space between the top section over here and the bottom section. As you can see, this is like too attached. So I'm going to go and go to margin over here. Then I'm going to first of all delink that and I'm going to put the bottom margin to somewhere around 10 and the top margin to somewhere around 10 as well. Then I'm going to click on update. Then when I refresh this page, you will see that there is no space between the footer and the and the contact form. Now I also want to increase the space inside my container, right? Because this is this section is too close to the border. I just want to make sure that it's not that too close. So I'm just going to change here. I'm going to put it to somewhere around 20. Then update. So now there is now more space, you know, in between this, these sections and this border over here. And if we refresh over here, we will notice the same thing. Now let's get into the, one of the most important parts for me is the colors, right? It's really hard to produce good colors. So to do that, I don't produce my own colors and I recommend that you also don't produce your own colors. But what you can do is you can go to a website called coolers.co, right? And if you go to this page over here, you will notice that if you click on start the generator, right? Now, start the generator. You will notice that they will give you these colors like this one, this good blend of colors. So all you have to do is just to click the space bar and more colors will appear just like this. And all you have to do now is to just choose the colors that you want as a combination. So after you save your color, I want you to just go to the top over here where your icon is going to be. Then just click this down arrow and then click your name, right? So when you click your name like that, so this is my account. Your colors are going to be here. So all you have to do now to get this color is to just click it and it will be copied to your clipboard. Just like that. Okay, now let's go back to our contact form. So the first thing I want to do now is I want to change the color of this heading over here. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this icon here. Right, then I'm going to go to style. Then I'm going to click under icon. So I, I want to change the icon color to something that looks much better. I want to use... Uh, let's see the color I use this color. So I'm going to use this center color over here. I'm just going to click it like that. Now it's copied. All I have to do now is to just go on the color over here, then paste. As you can see, the color just changed. So I'm going to do that for the contact as well. The text on text color. I'm just going to go and copy this one, then paste it like that. Okay. Now I'm going to change color for the divider and the border. So the divider as well. So to change the color for the border, all you have to do is just to go to the top of this, this column, right? Then click the tab icon. Then I'm going to go under style and under border. I'm just going to click on color here. Then I'm just going to change it to the same color like that. Then click update. So as you can see, now we have all the colors, right? Now, the next thing we want to do is we want to add this, this motion over here in which you see 
like our contact form is like coming from the left and the stuff is coming from this right side and it's just colliding at the center that looks nice right so let's add this motion effects so the first thing i'm gonna do right is i'm going to go on this column right and i'm going advanced and on motion effects like this i'm gonna change it from default to slide slide in from the left like that so that it comes from the left then i'm going to go on this icon heading and on motion effects i'm going to make it slide from the right slide in right so that it comes from the right i'm going to do the same for the border for this divider over here motion effects default sliding right same for this contact section motion effects slide right okay then i'm gonna click update so after we do that as you can see if we refresh this page it's just gonna come like that which looks really nice okay now that we are done with that part let's go into the settings in which where if somebody types this email right and put their message over there where is where is this email going to be sent right so i'm gonna go back to my pages so i'm going to go to the contact here and on contact forms and i'm gonna click edit on the contact form one over here i'm gonna click edit this is the short code which we put on the page so here you can see that we have some settings but you don't have to be worried about that oh yeah all you need over here is here so the two email this is where this is the email which is going to be used if somebody puts a message then the message is going to be sent to this email so by default the message is going to be sent to the email in which you registered your wordpress in right so if if you use your email to register for wordpress that's where the message is going to be sent so that just makes everything easier so for a beginner i think this is a good contact form so that was it for this tutorial if you enjoyed anything i said if you liked anything please just like and subscribe this would make my day this would be the best thing that has happened to me today so thank you so much and see you next time